rethinking what I eat to keep me healthy. Choose Eat Smart. Rethinking tobacco prevention. Fun with facts. Rethinking access to mental health care in our community. Rethinking where we get our food, school gardens. Rethinking my choices at school lunch, locally grown, healthy, and delicious. Rethinking talking to parents about sexual health. Rethinking getting from point A to point B. Drive your bike. Hello everyone, and welcome to Rethink, your life, your choice. We bring community leaders, advocates, and residents like you together to find solutions to the most important prevention and health related issues we are facing today. I'm your host, Emily Deeringer. We are excited to transform Winnebago County into a community focused on implementing solutions for better health where our li residents live, work, learn, and play. Today we are talking about community initiatives that have similar missions to rethink. There are several in the area, including Well Ashkosh and Well Cities Fox Cities, the Heroin Task Force, and the Mental Health Share Shop, some of which we've already heard from and some of which we'll be hearing from soon. On this show, we'll be specifically focusing on a couple of groups working to increase access to physical activity and nutritious foods. Our first guests are Sue Panik, director of the Oshkosh Area United Way, and Karen Rosenberg, program manager of um, the Weight of the Fox Valley Initiative. Uh, thanks for both of you for being here today. Thank You're you. Welcome. All right, so we'll get right to it. Um, Karen, I guess the first thing we need to start with is what is the Weight of the Fox Valley? Okay, White of the Fox Valley, it's a new initiative in the Fox Valley and it excludes the three counties, the Calumet, the Winnebago, and Outgamey. And actually it's a result of uh, two days, two day uh, a summit uh, that uh, took place last spring and uh, 150 stakeholders from different sectors participated in this summit and then it was decided to establish the initiative. And actually, it was a result of uh, recognizing obesity as a major problem in the Fox Valley. So several, several organizations, uh, they uh, decided, decided that obesity will be their uh, major priority. And the organizations are the full health system that we have in the area the Ashkash area and the Fox Cities United Way and the chat, uh, the uh, Theta Care chat initiative and of course the health departments and uh, some other local studies. So all of them got together and decided, decided that they will recognize, recognize obesity as their priority. So that's um a, a great summary of how this kind of all emerged. Um, so, so since obesity um, is the major priority that emerged, um, I guess could you tell our, our viewers and our listeners, um, you know, why is that the the th the priority that emerged? What why is addressing weight so important to our community? Obesity has major impact not only on the individual but also on the whole community, all society and obesity can lead to uh, major issues, health issues, such as even heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and some other uh, disease. And it also has an impact on the self-esteem, the mental health, and even on the uh, worker productivity. And also, uh, it even can affect on the way that we build our, our buildings. And for example, today we need to have uh, build, uh, bigger entrances or even bigger toilets. It also affects, for example, and on uh, the way that uh, we mold our transportation. And for example, some people need to buy two flight tickets mm -hmm. because they need double seat. So those are the, the, the example how it affects our life. And obesity uh, costs us as a community more 
it's more money. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why it's not only uh, the individual problem, it's the whole community problem. Exactly. And, and I love that you brought up um, things more than just you know the traditional health reasons why obesity is such a priority, uh, because a lot of times people might think that that's the only thing obesity affects, but um, there's so much more. So we actually have a couple graphics um, that we want to put up uh, talking about um, just the sheer numbers of, of people that are affected by um, obesity and overweight in, in the area. And this, these are specifically for Winnebago County. Um, so we have a, a body mass index for Winnebago County adults, which is uh, a formula of height versus weight. And in 2011, which is the most recent survey, um, we've got 35% of people overweight and 32% of people obese, um, which are collectively are up from the previous year. And the, the number that I actually would want to point out the most is that the percentage of people in a normal weight um, or neither overweight or obese has actually gone down in the last few years. So that's, that's kind of the big trigger for me that says people that are at a normal weight, there's less of those people. So in the, the next graphic we have is kind of your, your easier to, to digest graphic. Can I ask you a question though? Because yeah. when in La Crosse they used the statistics from the behavioral risk study and they found out that people really underreported. Once they started measuring the BMI, it was even more exactly. significant, the overweight and right. population. Yeah, so, so this graphic right here has seven out of 10 adults in okay. Winnebago County are either overweight or obese. And this is actually from the survey of the health of Wisconsin, okay. which was done last summer in, in Winnebago County and a couple other counties across, this United, across the state. And this was actual measured data. So someone went to them and measured their height and measured their weight. So self-reported data has Winnebago County at about 65 percent overweight or obese um, but the the not self-reported data where you actually had someone go in is, is seven out of ten yeah. which either way when six six and a half out of ten right. or seven out of ten still, is, yeah. it's still a lot of people yeah. so and Karen you mentioned diabetes and the last graphic we have is um, a percentage of population with diabetes and you can see um, that there's almost ten percent of people have diabetes which is which is astronomical when you talk about that type of condition it's, it's something that, that impacts every part of your life. So if anyone out there knows someone with diabetes, which most people do, it, it, it's very debilitating and, and co needs constant management. So you, know, you, can, you can only imagine how all these people came together and how many different groups came together recognizing that, hey, this is something that is impacting everybody. Um, so Sue, if you want to speak to that, who are all these people that are coming together to, to help the movement? <laughs> well, um, we start with this, um, these champions of ours who are the leadership team. And I'm pretty sure we have a graphic of this. Um, there are 35 people on our leadership team, and they're from all three counties. But so I'll just mention the ones that we might know here in Winnebago County, and those would include Ada Timke um, from Ada, uh, Laura's Tortilla Flats, Bill Calhoun from Affinity, David Zerby from Aurora, uh, Diane Abraham from the Oshkosh Area Community Foundation, Doug Guerin, um, who is with Winnebago County Health Department, Julia Solomon, who is with Affinity, and uh, Margie Harvey, who they do a wonderful workplace wellness program, and um, she's from Silver Star Brands. Um, well, Mark Harris, your ultimate boss. <laughs> um, Petra Roder from UW Oshkosh. Stan Mack, who is with the Oshkosh School District, of course, um, both Karen and I serve on that committee as well. Um, Tom Blaze from the um, Oshkosh YMCA. So we really have a cross section of the community who's working on this project, making sure that all those um, interests are being met and all those voices are being heard. Then we have actually a core team, and that's where I was alluding to um, um, Kurt from the Appleton County Health or Appleton Health Department. Um, um, Karen and I. Um, Peter Kelly from United Way Fox Cities, Paula Morgan from Theta Care, uh, Julia Solomon from um, Affinity, and Dr. Melky from the Appleton School District. So they make up that team. Yeah, and that's a lot of, of puzzle pieces, a lot of players to keep straight, you know, and it, it's so important to have, you know, some of those key decision makers, like you said, County Executive Mark Harris, being a part of that, that leadership team because they're the people in the community that can kind of shape the direction of the movement and, and, and what happens or what gets accomplished. Um, but it's nice to have Doug and Mark there because Doug can talk about it from a health a Department of Health perspective and Mark can talk about it from the whole county. So the interest of everyone are there. Exactly. So, um, so how will this, some of this, um, all this coming together make a difference? 
Well, we're using uh, kind of an interesting model called collective impact where we will be sharing um, our, an agenda. Everyone, we've, we've got one common goal. We've got a common agenda. We're going to have common measures. Um, we're going to have constant communication. And, and again, each of these teams is made up of people from all three counties, not just one. And then we have backbone organizations, and the two United Ways are the backbone organizations. And so we're making sure that everything continues to go. We will ultimately be responsible for what happens because, as Karen said, this is not a health issue. This is a community issue. I mean, ultimately, it's our individual health that we're worried about, but it, the community has to deal with this. And unfortunately, it's going to take us some time because we didn't get obese or overweight overnight. I know I didn't. <laughs> so um, it takes me that much longer than to lose the weight or to become more fit or whatever. So the mission or our goal really is to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. So you just had um, a kickoff, talk about get things going. Um, so can you explain a little bit what happened there with this kickoff and doing stuff in the community, well, making we did, the magic happen? We did the, two, the summit two, uh, a year ago. So that was the two-day summit a year ago. And the kickoff was really, um, we went to all these people who are on our email list and on our constant or on our communication list and said, there are six, are there six? Six. Six settings yes. in the state plan. We're not trying to rebuild something. The state already has a plan. So we're, there are six areas settings in the state plan. Um, and I'm not going to remember them all. So I'll just tell you the two that were picked to start. And that was workplace, wellness, and active communities. So on Thursday of last week, we ended up having um, a, uh, a kickoff, a launch of these two groups. And uh, we kind of gave them a little bit of background on what Weight of the Fox Valley was about and then had them break up into groups and started their planning. And now those two groups will continue to move forward with their planning. But again, it was a, an opportunity for us to bring all the players together so that they could build some trust, build some friendships, build some networks. And then now they're going to be coming together and meeting on a regular basis to um, try to set some goals that ultimately will go to the the, the ultimate goal, which is to reduce the BMI. Excellent. So, and um, Karen, you talked about um, um, one of the things before we started on the show here, we talked about um, the I Took the Pledge campaign. Um, so can you talk a little bit about um, what that means? That was part of the kickoff as well. Yes, yeah, so the kickoff, we ask people to think about the pledge, about the commitment for themselves or for their families or for the community. And then we ask them to hold a sign, I took the pledge, and to take the selfie or to ask their friend to do it. And uh, we uh, actually, we made it very nice because we want them to feel good. Like we made it like a Hollywood style and we had the red carpet and uh, Oscar statue. And uh, people really, we really get into it. And we also ask them, to fill in this postcard and write their personal address and the pledge. And two weeks afterwards, we sent them the postcard as a reminder. And I also would like to invite the audience to send me an email and to write their address and the, your pledge, please. And I can send it to you. And actually, the pledge can be something very simple, something doable, something that you can implement in your daily routine. Um, I personally decided to pledge to drink more water and to reduce sodas. So this is the idea. And we decided uh, to take the advantage of this selfie trend and just uh, to spread the word about the Weight of the Fox Valley. And people can look at some of the already posted selfies up on the, the Weight of the Fox Valley's Facebook page. So, yes. um, so if you need some inspiration for your, your selfie on I Took the Pledge, you can make your homemade sign. That's fine. And <laughs> then like, like us. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. So um, I, I'm really excited about um, where this is going to be going. I'm really excited that Rethink is going to be a part of it. Yes. Uh, so I appreciate both of you being here today. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, hopefully, hopefully not alone when it comes to who else is going to get involved. You know, I, I filled out my postcard. I'll take my selfie. I like the page. <laughs> I know everyone else out there can do, to, can do that, too. Um, so there's lots of exciting things happening with Way to the Fox Valley, so I appreciate all the work you guys are doing. Well, with your opening. I mean, <laughs> you've, got, you've got all this, this audience out there already. Yeah. So, and, and I think it's going to have to be the kids. Oh, yes. It's going to have to be the kids who, that make this change. Who doesn't love kids eating healthy foods and right. being physically active, right? right. All right. So um, up next, we'll be um, focusing on a, a different project that Rethink's um, Farm to School member, Sabina Bastias, is working on. Um, it is called the Oshkosh Food Co-op. Um, and if you're not sure what that is, we've got a little video that will be explaining that. So we'll be back in the studio after this segment. <laughs> 